I'm really sorry Luke, but I couldn't get down the hill to it mate. There was fire going everywhere and I just couldn't get down the road. I'm really sorry Cobber. Well man, this is the last you'll see of your shed. She's caving in at the back there. We live in a country that is hot and dry uh, and where we sustain, uh, you know, very destructive fires periodically. Uh, so there's always going to be risk. Uh, and, you know, whilst you would not put any one uh, event down to climate change, uh, weather doesn't work like that. Uh, but we do know over time uh, that as a result of climate change, we are going to see more extreme weather events and conditions. We had no idea that it was going to be so quick and so sudden. And when we finally did evacuate, we crossed the river and we, we, we just studied and watched what it did and it just went through like with enormous speed and it just, it was horrendous. It, yeah, it, it was just unbelievable. Yeah, and it's just all totally devastated now. Tomorrow, is not going to be just another ordinary day. Tomorrow will be perhaps the worst uh, fire danger day the state uh, has ever faced. Uh, Sydney's temperature is expected to be 43 degrees. Uh, we are talking about the most extreme fire behaviour. Uh, we, are, we are looking at uh, destruction is likely. Uh, we will see ember showers likely to be thrown 10 kilometres, if not 20 kilometres ahead under the extraordinary conditions being forecast for tomorrow.